<coughs> Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and welcome back to another video of uh, mathematics for matriculation semester 1 so in the previous videos we already discussed about indices and set so for this video we will go into the last part of the subsection that is logarithm Alright, so without further ado, let's go into the topics. So, as you can see, uh, the definition of a logarithm is uh, the logarithm of a positive number n to a given base a with a uh, greater than 0 and a must not equal to 1 is the power x to which the base a must be raised in order to yield the number n. Okay. So, I know this definition is lengthy. Okay, so in other words, if you see the, the box here, okay, the logarithm is connected to the indices in a way that, okay, if you see, if you can see that he, here we have a to the power of x is n, a to the power of x is n, okay, so now, logarithm is, is a function that, uh, that will compute this x, the indices, when you have when you have n and a so x oh sorry so log is a function that will give you uh, the power x or the indices the index x to which the base and uh, sorry uh, the power x that gives you this number uh, with respect to the base a okay so that's why if you don't understand Sorry, sorry. If you still uh, face some difficulty about uh, indices, uh, I advise you to go back to the to the I I, I don't remember which previ uh, the pre the previous video on indices. Okay, because if you don't don't really understand about uh, if you don't understand about indices, logarithm will be much more difficult for you. Okay, so logarithm is connected to the indices in a way that uh, the index x can be computed by using logarithm okay so this this is the connection between index and logarithm okay so there are two types of logarithm that are frequently used in mathematics the first one is the common logarithm uh, common logarithm is defined uh, uh, the common logarithm is the logarithm of n to the best 10 so common logarithm means logarithm of n to the best 10 okay so the notation for common logarithm we have three kinds of uh, three kinds of notation we have log to the best 10 we have log and we have lg only so when you encounter this three notation, either one of this, uh, that notation refers to common logarithm or logarithm of n to the best 10, best 10. Okay. The second one is the natural logarithm. Uh, natural logarithm is the logarithm of n, okay, to the best e. Okay, so now instead of we have best 10 or other best, the natural logarithm has the best e e e is a exponential exponential constant e is exponential constant okay so i don't think i don't, i i don't really remember it, but i don't think that you have you have con you encountered natural logarithm in secondary school okay so i think this is new for you okay so because uh, if we want to talk about best e Okay, so we have this one, e, x. So now our base is e, our base is e. So the inverse of the uh, the inverse of the exponential function is natural logarithm. So natural logarithm has two has two common notation that is log to the base e, l or g to the base of e, and we have ln or simply we call it ln, ln, l. A W N ln. Okay, so when we have log E or ln, means that it refers to natural logarithm. 
Okay. Since uh, since logarithm is connected to indices, so obviously there are some laws of logarithm that actually this laws are derived from the rules uh, from the laws of indices. Okay. So for any positive numbers capital M and capital N, real numbers A, okay, is is supposed to be real number. Real number A with A greater than 0 and A must not equal to 1 and positive integer P, we have the following law. Alright, the first one is uh, log of capital M capital N to the base A. Okay, so if we, if we have, if we have uh, capital M and capital N is connected uh, using multiplication, inside, inside single logarithm, we can separate M, capital M and capital N using plus summation. So we have log capital M to the base A and uh, plus log capital N to the base A. Okay, so this the first this one is similar to what we what we have here. A M uh, multiply A N equals to a M plus N. Okay. Alright. Alright. Okay. So the first one is related to this to this law. Second one is when we have uh, capital M uh, when we have a single logarithm but the bracket is in the form of ratio capital M over capital N. So this two this two positive numbers can be separated using can be separated into two separate uh, logarithm uh, separated by minus minus sign okay minus sign okay so we have here log m over n to the base a is equals to log capital m to the base a minus log capital n to the base a so this also is connected if you still remember a m over a n is equal to a m minus n m minus m so this one is m small m this one is n okay all right third one third one we have okay we have log m a uh, log capital m to the base a uh, sorry log m and uh, log capital m to uh, to the power of p to the base a is equals to p multiply log capital m to the base a okay so when we have m when we have here a number in the form of index or in the form of power have that has the power so we can separate the power we bring it to the front so we have p we, we bring p to the front of log okay so we have here p multiply by log capital M to the base A. Alright, next, we have log A to the base A is equals to 1. Log A to the base of A is equals to 1. Why? Because if we remember, uh, if we connected, because we said that logarithm is connected to indices, this one, this law is a result of A to the power of 1 equals to A a to the power of 1 so this one refers to the power of to the power uh, of this base okay the fifth rule is log 1 to the base a is equals to 0 again this can be seen by log if if we use the if we use the net, uh, if we use the index notation a to the power of 0 is 1 a to the power of 0 is 1 no matter what value is a taking the a, the a is taking okay the last one we have a to the power of log p to the base a is equals to p or log a to the power of p to the base a is equals to p okay so the sixth rule here is beneficial is uh, is important uh, is, is important okay in 
uh, a few circumstances okay for example we want to eliminate log <laughs> especially we want to eliminate log or we want to eliminate uh, expon uh, in sorry exponential or uh, index index notation so this rule is very very powerful in order for us to remove either logarithm notation or the index notation because we, we, we can see here what's left here only p no more logarithm notation no more logarithm and no more index notation all right so we go to the first example simplify the following expressions okay so now we have the first one uh, log 6 plus log 8 minus log 12 log 6 plus log 8 minus log log 12 so what we can okay what we can do is first first of all we must identify that we must make sure that all base here must be same okay so we can say that the base here is same this log this log and this log is same because most because all of them have the same base that is 10 okay so now first one we we perform the addition the addition operation first so how we can do is using this rule the first rule here because we have log m to the base of a plus log n to the base of a so we can return uh, we can write it in simpler form as product of m and n okay so we write it as product of okay log 6 minus 8 uh, sorry 6 multiplied by 8 so 6 multiplied 8 is 48 minus log 12 all right so now we are we done with the addition with the addition operation so now what's left is the the subtraction operation so so using the second rule here this one we can combine m and n using ratio notation so we have log mm, 48 log sorry 48 over 12 okay that is log 4 done alright so that's for the first example for the first expression okay second ex uh, second 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 expression is we have half multiplied log 16 minus 3 log 2 okay so we not so we notice that for each term for each logarithm uh, it has a constant in front of it okay in front of them sorry so what we can do is using the third rule here we can bring the constant here in front of log to become the to be the uh, the power of m the power of m capital m so we bring each of this constant to here okay so what we can do is log 16 to the power of half minus log 2 to the power of 3 so we evaluate each of this term so we have log 16 to the power of half is square root of 16 so we have log 4 minus log okay so 2 cube is 8 so we have log 8 and now we have minus so according to the second rule we can write it as log 4 over 8 and since we can simplify 4 over 8 so we write it as log 1 over 2 ok alright so the last one the last, uh, the last expression is log 16 over log 2 log 16 over log log 2 ok so how to resolve this one how to resolve this one because here we have ratio of two logarithm but we don't have that any rules that related to 
ratio of two logarithm. Okay. What we can do is, I think, if you can see, because 16 and 2, okay, 16 and 2, uh, 16 and 2, okay. Because 16 and 2 is connected by, if you remember, 16 is, okay, 16 is 4 squared. Okay, 4 squared. But 4 is also 2 squared. So, we combine this, we have 2 to the power of 4. So, 16 is 2 to the power of 4. Okay, so what we can do here is, we rewrite 16 here in this form. So, we have log 2 to the power of 4 over log 2. And then, since we have 4 as the power in as the power so we can bring it to the front so we have 4 log 2 over log 2 ok so log 2 cancel out log 2 uh, left out only 4 so that is our our answer for this expression alright Next, we go into logarithmic property of equality because in, in, uh, when we discuss about indices, we, we discuss about uh, index property of equality. So obviously, uh, logarithm also has this kind, the same kind of property. Okay. So, if x, y, and a are positive real numbers such that a must not equal to 1, then what we have here is if log, x, uh, if log x to the base of a equals to log y to the base of a, it implies that x equals to y. x equals to y. So this one is also related to index property of equality. Okay, so now in terms of log, okay, because both of them have the same base. Because both of them have the same base. So, this implies that x must be equal to y. x must be equal to y. Okay. So, we go into the example. So, express y in terms of x for each of the following equations. So, we have the first equation. 2 log x plus 3 log y equals to 0. Okay, equals to 0. So, when we have equals to 0... What we can do here is we bring one of the terms at the left hand side, at the left side to the right hand side. So for me, I prefer to bring the second term. So what we have, so what we have here is 2 log x equals to 3 log y. Okay. So here what we can do is what we can do okay so because both of log both both logarithm has constant in front of it so what we can do is what we can do is hmm what we can do is we bring Oh, I think no, no need to bring first. Okay, sorry, sorry. Okay. Because both of the both of logarithm both logarithm has is, is constant in front of it. So we move both constant to x and y. So we write it as uh, log x squared plus log y cube. And then since both logarithm has the same base, share the same base, equals to 0. So we can combine, because we have plus here, so we can combine using multiplication, product of two numbers. So log x cube, uh, x squared y cube, equals to 0. Equals to 0. 
Okay, so we know that this zero, okay, this zero, if we go back to the rules, the laws here, zero is log one to the base A, log one to the base A. So we write this zero again as log x squared y cube is equals to log one. Okay, so here we can use the logarithmic property of equality so we can say that since log x squared y cube is equals to log 1 this implies that x squared y cube is equals to 1 equals to 1 now we can express y in terms of x so we, we move x squared to the right hand side so we have y cube is equals uh, equals to 1 over x squared but now here we have y cube we want only y alone so so we put set set 3 both hand side it will become y equals to set 3 1 over x cube Okay, or, or we can you can write it as x to the power of 2 over 3. Okay. So that's for the first example. Okay. Next example. Next example is log x to the base of 2 plus log y to the base of 2 equals to 1. Okay. So, since both of the log, since both log have uh, shared the same base and they doesn't have any constant in front of it, so we can directly combine x and y. So, we have log log x multiply y equals to 1. And then, because here we have 1 at the right hand side, we, we, we use the, the fourth law here. The fourth law. So we have, instead of 1, we rewrite it as log xy equals to log 10. So now, since both, this, uh, both, log, log, both logarithms are equals, both logarithms are equal, uh, it implies that x, y equals to 10. Okay, so now we can express y in terms of x. So we have y equals to 10 over x. Done. Oh no, sorry, we have because, sorry, 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 I, I mistakenly here. Because we have log 2. So here must be 2. Okay, so y equals to 2 over x. Done. Okay, so when we talk about logarithm, uh, one thing that must not be left out is how to change the base of logarithm. How to change the base of logarithm okay so maybe in secondary school your teacher uh, may already demonstrate to you how this one is obtained is derived okay so but i think uh, better for me uh, better for us to recap again okay so we start with okay so we start with given we have u equals to uh, log capital M to the base A. Okay, so we have here this one. Given that we have this one, okay, then we can write, then we have, then we have A to the power of U is equals to capital M. Now we have A to the power of U is equals to capital M. Okay, so here, up until here, what we do is, okay, we put, we put both sides Another logarithm that is log to the base of b. 
log to the base of b okay so now we have log a to the power of u base to the uh, to the base b equal uh, equals to log capital m to the base of b so both side now has logarithm to to the base of b okay so what we can see here at the right, at the left hand side we have uh, index a to the power of u so what we can do is according to uh, one one laws of logarithm we bring u to the front so we have u multiply log a to the base of b equals to log capital m to the base of b okay so so what we do here is we want to we want to express u we want to express u so we move log a to the base b to the right to the right hand side so what what happened what what we have here is u equals to log m log m capital b over log a to the base of b okay but remember that in the beginning we this we define u as log capital m to the base of a here so we substitute instead of u so now we're using log a log capital m to the base of a is log m to the base of b over log a to the base of b okay so that's how we get these rules okay all right okay so what happened if m equals to b okay so when m when capital m is equals to b so we just substitute here okay substitute this one so we instead of capital m we have capital b okay so we have here b also b okay so we have log b to the base of a equals to log b to the base of b over log a to the base of b okay but log b to the base of b is what log b to the base of b is one okay so now we have log b to the base of a is 1 over log a to the base of b okay so that's how that's how also how we get this this formula it's related to the previous one okay all right last example for this video okay solve the following following equation so we have the first one is uh, log x to the base of 4 equals to log 16 to the base of x so when we said solve means that we, we must find the value of x okay but notice that at the left hand side we have base 4 but here we have base base what base x okay and here we have 16 okay here we have 16 so what we can do here is okay what we can do here is uh, before we before we change the we, before we change the base we change 16 to a number in, in in the form of index that related to 4 okay so we rewrite it again as log x to the power of to the base of 4 equals to log a, a log instead of 16 we have 4 squared because 4 squared is 16 so now log 4 squared to the base of x okay so and then don't don't change the don't change the the base yet because we have squared here we have power 2 here so we what we can do is bring the power 2 to the front so we have log log x to the power of to the base of 4 equals to 2 log 4 to the base of x okay okay now we can change the base okay so according to the rule here okay because because we want to solve x so it's better that we change we even change this one okay so now we want to let we want the, the right hand side has the base 4 not x anymore Okay, so what we can do is log sorry log four and uh, log x to the base of four is two log 
4 4 over log x to the power of 4 okay but we have log 4 4 is 1 log 4 4 is 1 okay so we have 2 above it okay so we have log 4x is equals to 2 over log 4x okay so now we bring this one to the left so what we have is log x to the base of 4 multiplied log x to the base of 4 so we have so we have what we have here is so what we will have is what okay so what we'll have here is what okay so we have here log 4x is log 4x okay okay so what we have here is what we have here is um, or maybe we should not no, no need to move first okay because we have two here we have two okay so we have here two okay so what we have here is two means that we're going back to this step actually okay so going back to this step what we can do is what we can do is what we can do is okay log two two okay both of them related by uh what we call it uh log this one okay we have this one okay i see i see okay i see okay so log okay so what we do here is um, what we can do here is because we if we move this one we, we will multiply okay never mind we just we just move no, don't worry okay so log x to the base of 4 close bracket squared equals to 2 equals to 2 okay so maybe some of you uh, could not see it directly could not see it directly okay so what I what I can what I can advise you is let log x to the to the base of four is equals to capital X. So now we change In instead of we have log x to the base of four we have capital X squared equals to two equals to two. So now x capital X is set 2 set set 2 ok set 2 yeah I did set ok I did set 2 yes set 2 plus minus you can consider plus minus you can consider plus minus ok and then only then we just we, just, we substitute or plus minus 2 half to the power of half Okay, only then we change this one. Okay, we substitute back to log 4, log x to the base of 4. So log x to the base of 4 is 2 half. 2 half. Okay, 2 half to the power of half. Or maybe up to you, you want to maintain set 2 also can. Okay, so we can find x is x is 4 4 to the power of set 2 ok so 4 to the power of set 2 is ok I, for, I, I forgot that I don't have calculator yet <laughs> ok sorry so what we have here is uh, 4 to the power of set 2 <laughs> so you can leave the answer like that or you want to give the answers here also can ok and don't forget because we, we considered we have here squared so the 
we consider the first one is positive. So the second one is log x to the base of 4 is negative 1. Negative 1. Okay. So x is 4 uh, negative to the power of negative set 2 or 1 over 4 to the power of set 2 ok alright so that's for the first the first example ok maybe I can try using calculator both of them log okay log which is log again which is here log 4 here is where is x here oh, sorry it's supposed to be alpha x alpha log 16 X sixteen soft. <laughs> See, <laughs> okay, okay. All right. Oh, maybe we can reject the second one. I think we can reject the second one. Yes. Okay. Oh, sorry. Okay, so we go into the sec second second example. Log x to the base of 3 plus 4 log t to the base of x equals to 5. Equals to 5. Okay, so first thing first, we have here log x to the base of 3 and log 3 to the base of x. Okay, so we need to change this, this one. We change the base here. Instead of x, we have 3. So, what we can do is according to this rule, this one, this last one. So, we write again as log x to the base of 3 plus 4 over log x to the base of 3 equals to 5. Equals to 5. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so here, let, we, I say again, let x, capital X equals to log x to the base of 3. So what we have later on is x, capital X, plus 4 over capital X equals to 5. So I don't like fraction here, so I want to remove. So what you can do is multiply both all terms with x. So we will have x squared plus 4 equals to 5 capital X. So now we have the problem of uh, the problem of quadratic equation. Okay, so now to solve this one, x squared minus 5x plus 4 equals to 0 so x x 4 4 1 x squared 4 but here we want my, minus negative minus a uh, negative my, negative 5 x so this one 4 x x okay so we know that this one must both of, of negative 4 and negative 1 so x minus 4 x minus 1 equals to 0 ok and then we change back instead of x we use <laughs> ok I think before that we also can so we have x equals to 4 and x equals to 1 
that I got the factor, that I got the factor right? Hmm, that I got the 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 root right? Four one yes positive four okay. Negative four negative x. Okay yes correct yes. Okay so now only then we change back into log x to the base of three equals to four and log x to the base of 3 equals to 1. So now here we have 3 to the power of 4 and x 3 to the power of 1. Eh, yes, 1. No. Mm, yes, 3 to the power of 1. Wait, I check again. Yes. Okay. So here we have 3 to the power of 4. Okay, 9 multiply and 9 multiply 9 is 81. So here we have x equals to 91 and x equals to 3. Done. So we solve the second part of the equation. Eh, the second second equation. Okay. So that's all for today. Thank you for uh, thank you for watching this video. I hope you gain some understanding of these topics. Okay, so, so if you have any comments or any question, please leave in the comment section below. Okay, so we, we see you again on the next video on the next topic that is uh, complex numbers. Alright, see you next time. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.